Cancers, it's me, Camila Rose, and we are back for your love and money readings for 2024. Let's get into it. All right, so your general reading, your overview for the quarters, nice and detailed, looking at each quarter, what the energy is, what's going on for you, is already up on the channel, so go check that out. And let's see what we've got going on for you. We're looking for singles first. We'll do singles, we'll do couples, then we'll do money. So singles, what's happening for our singles in 2024 for the sign of cancer? Let's see what the energy is looking like for you all. Singles, single cancer. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, oh, love. All right. We love to see it. Now, this is either love. It, sh it should be love. But you might be working on a partnership. There may be a partnership coming in for you. Ooh, justice. All right. Maybe it's your time. Maybe it's your time. Judgment, a new start. All right. Things are balancing now. You're getting a fresh start. You're getting a rebirth. You're getting an end to all the struggle. It's going to be some work, though. You're going to have to put some time and some dedication into it. Now, this might be the path to get you to this new love. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So this is this is the path to get you to this new love. Is justice. You need to balance out. You need to be putting in the work. You need to be working on yourself. You need to be putting in the work so that you can have a fresh new start. Now this might be Libra energy. I don't know how y'all feel about Libras, Cancers, but this might be Libra energy. Um, but you need to balance some things out. You need to make sure that you're open and available to love. You need to make sure that you're like interested in it. Like you really need to like open up and make sure that like your light is on. Okay. So that you can have a fresh new start. Do some of that work on yourself. Focus on your finances. Make sure your life is together. Make sure you're an interesting person. Make sure that you're stable and secure. And then we see an offer come in. So like get out there. Do the work. Send the text. <laughs> You know, pursue, be open, go out. Don't sit in the house all the time. You know, so you can get this offer coming in. There will be an offer coming in. I don't know if you take it because you feel like you have a lot of options. You got a lot of options, singles. All right. Don't get so caught up in the past. That's why you're doing all this work. But take one of them because you're going to have stability. You're going to get that stability that you're looking for. What's our outcome? The star, everything that you've hoped and dreamed for. Everything that you've hoped and dreamed for is coming in. This is a star card. This is such a good reading. I don't even really want to get into it anymore because I wanted to keep it nice. Okay, tell us about the work. What's the work that they need to do? What's the work for singles? Single cancers. What's their work they need to do? The Hierophant. Ooh, okay. So the Hierophant is a card that is five energy. It's expansion. It is about like it's the high priestess, only it's the masculine version. So like externally, you need to get balanced. Externally, you need to be putting in the work. That's why I was like, yeah, it's a pentacles card. So this could be money, but this could also be like your physical. So make sure that like health wise, you're where you want to be to be a partner, to be like in a relationship take care of yourself physically and take care of yourself financially all the physical things make sure you have somewhere to stay make sure you have form of transportation if you live somewhere where y'all don't use um personal vehicles make sure that you at least can pay to like get an uber or to like take the train to each other like make sure your stuff is in order externally and that that stuff is in balance that you're where you want to be you know you're doing a lot of internal work here this is a lot of um internal balancing and like getting what you deserve and what you put out there and uh, getting this new start and now it's like making sure externally you're where you need to be also make sure that like you're externally visible <laughs> you're externally out there so that like the people can see you and give you the cup <laughs> now i know that you do feel like you have a lot of options i know you feel like you could make a lot of different choices tell us about this seven of cups seven of cups for the pentacles yeah queen of pentacles yeah you you doubly get your stuff together <laughs> you definitely get your stuff together and so like you're stable you're secure you're nurturing like you do have a lot of options and you need someone who sees that and who feels like that's valuable that like all the things you have to offer is valuable and they value you and they want to offer you that stability they want to they want to what is that lock in <laughs> they want to be locked in with you focus on getting that clarity about what it is that you really want because this is going to be your hopes and dreams 
hope some dreams come into fruition, okay? I'm going to cover her up just in case they have a little little moment about her out here. But that's a star card. So it's all good for you, couple, uh, single. If that's what you're looking for. Singles, if you're not looking for a relationship next year, if you're not interested in that, like this is a good preparation route to just get yourself in order. To get the balance, to have a new start, to focus on your health, to focus on where you are financially. Yes, maybe there are cups and maybe you're not taking them. Maybe you're just like, I just want to work on all the things that I already have. Work on all my skills, work on being able to actualize my fantasies and my dreams into reality. And then setting yourself up to be really, really stable and really secure. So that you're not interested in a relationship, you know, you're still heading towards a lot of security and making your dreams come true. All right, so either way, you're good, singles. All right, couples, cancer couples. What you got going on? What's the vibe for the cancer couples? All right, they want me to look at this card. Oh, the strength card. Okay, follow your intuition. Tap into your uh, intuition, tap into your inner guidance, tap into your strength. You may need strength. Okay, you're having a good time. You've seen these cards, though. These are from your general reading. We've seen these cards. You're having a good time. There's a lot of enjoyment going on. There is a decision that needs to be made. It's a lighthearted one. This is going to do with that work. It's a really prominent one for your general reading. Ooh, because you're stressed out. Why are we stressed out? What are we stressed out about? Ooh. Because you're trying to get to the end of the stress and you're stressed out and you're trying to push to that. Okay. Well, what is the stressor in this relationship? An offer that wasn't taken? Okay. So maybe, maybe there was a third, oh, I hate to say this, y'all. Maybe there was a third party situation that came in and you were juggling your options and you were really stressed out about it and you hated it. Or there was a third party situation on the other end and they were juggling their options and you were really super stressed out about it and you hated it. But like the offer wasn't taken. So it seems like y'all are trying to work things out. We did get in your third quarter that like you don't leave an unhealthy situation. Uh, goodness, but so maybe maybe this is the renewal for you all's relationship. This could be this person still lurking around, but this could be like, all right, can we try again here? This could be though, this is not a third party situation. This is just enjoyment of life, juggling situations. But like, you could be stressed about needing to make a decision about investments, about a new job, or trying something different, and like not taking an offer, getting a new offer, still feeling like stuck. Needing to change your perspective and feeling that stuck energy. Yeah, you, it's time for you to try something different. Step out of your comfort zone. Because there's definitely that stuck energy there, that hangman. You need to change your perspective and you need to get out of sight of your comfort zone. It's time to turn your back on something. But not turn your back on something in a negative way. Turn your back on something as in like it, you need to move forward. Like you have to turn your back on the past in order to move forward into the future. And that's kind of where this is going. It's saying like, you got to let go of whatever the stressor is, whatever didn't work out, whatever cup did, it wasn't accepted, whatever offer wasn't accepted and a new one was made. Like lean into the one that you're going to accept and not the one that you did. You got to let that part go. King of Pentacles, you're definitely feeling a lot more stable, a lot more secure. Or you have a King of Pentacles coming in. Um, so this might be your partner or something like that. That's like being really supportive of you and um, creating a nurturing stance for you. Page of Swords, y'all need to have some conversations. There's definitely some conversations that need to happen here in order to move forward. What's the outcome? Final art, outcome card. The Fool, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. Okay, I'm going to pull one more. What are we leaping into? What are we leaping into? Okay, this is rest. You got to rest. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a shot. Give it another try. Don't, don't back up unless it's really like super unhealthy, which I don't see a lot of those cards here. It just seems like you're super stressed about it. But if you're super stressed to the point where like you're just stuck and you're not moving forward at all, like it's time to take a leap of faith and maybe move along, go for security, have these conversations. But you need to rest. That's y'all need to rest. Uh, and the rest might be taking a break. You might end up taking a break. But either way, like. You need to have a conversation about this, whether this is you or this is the other person. Like there's there's a really strong 
um, masculine centered, like action focused, externally focused energy that's going on here about this work, about this and wanting to invest and like the conversations need to happen. So you can figure out whether you're going to jump in and stay or you're going to jump in and move forward. But either way, like take a rest. And if you're jumping in, stay, take a rest, try to relax, maybe take a vacation together. Um, and if you're jumping in and, and taking a leap of faith out of this relationship, like just take a break. So it just kind of depends on where you are with things. If you're feeling joyful, if your narrative, if your story is y'all are having a really great time, you're juggling maybe a new job or a new investment that you want to make, but it's really, really stressful for you. You've been stressed out about it. You've been trying to get to the end of it. It's causing you a lot of anxiety and you don't take the offer, but maybe a new offer comes in. You still feel stuck and unsure. Like you got to step outside of your comfort zone. That's what's going to move you into a much more secure and stable situation. And there's some conversations. You may even be starting school. Maybe that's what the page of Swords is, is becoming a student, starting school, taking that leap of faith into that and then like relaxing into this new role. Um, so there's there's about three different stories that you can read out of this, but either all of them hinge on like following your instincts and following your intuition. All right, couples, that's it for you. Either y'all are sticking together or you might be taking a break. It just depends on what's going to bring you some of this peace. Um, Whatever is going to bring you a little bit of this peace and get you out of this stressful situation, okay? All right. And finally, let's look at your money story because money has been a prominent, it's been a prominent factor in a lot of what's going on with you, Cancer. So let's see what's going on with your monies. Money story 2024 for Cancer. What's happening with Cancers? Now, obviously, this will not apply to everyone because it's just one story. What do we get? The Hermit. Nah, yeah, y'all love this. Y'all are definitely, that was your card for the year, the hermit card. So when it comes to money, when it comes to material wealth, y'all are kind of isolating yourself. There may be a move you need to make. Um, some some getting out of the situation you've been in. Look, we've got that strength card again. You need to follow your instincts. You may be really wanting to. So this is so chariot card is a literal move it could be transportation you could be needing to get a new car or you need to like move to a different place that kind of was something like a narrative of like getting out of your comfort zone uh when we looked at your general reading there was like i'm not gonna leave i don't want to leave this situation and there was kind of a wanting to stay there energy um but there is a lot of like cars that come up around like needing to change like a change that needs to happen especially one that's built off of like what your deepest desires are your instincts are pushing you towards maybe taking some challenges and and definitely like being brave to step out into whatever this um knight of pentacles is what's the clarifier for the knight of pentacles uh, a new cycle you need a new cycle yeah you're hermiting because you need to change and you're trying to figure out how to do that there's a new cycle that needs to start the money story that you've had needs to come to an end we have a seven of swords there's been a lot of maybe some sneakiness going around there we had that seven of swords in the other one in your fourth quarter towards the end and it was also connected to your legacy so there may be like a cycle a legacy something in the family um a family cycle or a legacy left behind related to this um energy let me get a card about the legacy. Maybe a very overbearing mother. Cancer, the chariot card is cancer as well. Oh, it's chariot. This is you. <laughs> Sorry, cancer. <laughs> um, the chariot card. This is you, cancers. So you have shown up in your reading. You have decided to come and say hello in your own reading. Um, uh, but this also could be, so you could be a mother. You know, you could literally be a mother, be in the mothering energy. And, um... You know, you're needing to follow your instincts. You're needing to be strong. Find your inner strength. Be brave and step outside of your comfort zone and really, like, go after something financially that you're interested in in order to start a new cycle. Especially if there is a pattern, if there is some dishonesty or deceit or some needing to be really clever that ends up falling in your legacy, like something you're continuously running up against that you might have picked up from your mother. Um that you're needing to take more of a queen of swords or the legacy is a queen of swords a very um cold maybe more emotionally unavailable um straightforward 
So let's see if like that's the route you need to take with your outcome card. Outcome card, walking away from an unhealthy situation finally. Because you had a lot of like staying with it energy. And you're reading. So when it comes to money, yeah, when it comes to money, it's time to move forward. It's time to move on. It's time to leave behind. Especially if there's a situation. If there's a situation going along, like I said, like a little cold, very logical, not very emotionally available. Leave. Leave. Don't stay there. Look, there you are, the moon. Get out. Get out. Why are you staying here? Like, don't stay in a space because just because, like, that's the expectation of you. That's what everybody else has done in your life. Like, this is why you're sitting here trying to get this wisdom, trying to get your bravery up, trying to get, like, the courage to step out and do this. Like, you've learned your lesson. You know better. Being clever. You know better. Speak up for yourself. You know better. Leave. Leave the situation if it's done. That third quarter in your general yeah you stay behind when it comes to like things related to maybe your relationship and things like that like you're really in this very like work it out stick it out all that stuff but if you're really unhappy it's time to go because once you leave then you get some of this more manifestation there's stuff that you've been wanting to do dreams that you've had things like that that you've been wanting to do you actually see some of that starting to happen starting to make some headway there it's because you release the energy that was held up in this situation in this cycle once you do that work and then shift that energy it releases the energy that was caught up in here to go and be something new and then you see a lot of really quick movement starting you get a lot of quick movement a lot of quick insights that come in like a lot of fast conversations fast messages fast conversations contracts being signed things like that like the it picks up okay and those seeds that you planted they come they 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 sprout they grow it's worth it so this could be that you're hermiting because you did plant some seeds and you're waiting for them to grow. You're waiting for some moves. You're like in your own energy. You're trying to be brave. You're trying to hold out. You're like, come on now. Come on now. Let's start this new cycle. You know, you're being very clever about how you're going things, planning your legacy, having really like clear conversations, leaving if people are not supporting you and they're kind of lollygagging and taking their time and not moving forward like you want. You leave them behind because you're like, there are other people who will support me and I'm going to see this happen. And then those conversations happen and you get the fruits of your of your labors. So there's a couple of different ways to read these cards, obviously. Pick the story that aligns most with your experience, especially if there's something around like your mother and some something related to your worth, your mother and a legacy of a cycle related to like not being fully honest or trusting yourself because they've been very cold and they haven't been very supportive. And it sets you up to find yourself in all these cycles where you keep running into individuals who act like that queen of swords or if you're a person who needs to be more queen of swords because you end up with people not moving forward with you or like the legacy not getting where you need to be, like be strong and walk away. Okay? All right, that's your money story. That's the money story for you, Kansas. It sounds all good. I'm really excited. I like it. It's a good, it's a good move for you. Okay? All right. Like this video, subscribe. If you want to have cancer thrown into the rotation for monthly readings, you got to comment down below. Uh, if you don't comment, then... I'll see you in 2024 when we're doing your 2025 reading. <laughs> um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed and let me know how things are going. Love you. If you need assistance, if you need help, I am a mindfulness coach. I am a tarot reader and I'm a yoga teacher. So if you want any of those services, I can do virtual coaching, virtual tarot readings. I can do in-person yoga. If you're in the DFW area, just send me a message and I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.